They called an urgent meeting yesterday because of you. They called an urgent meeting yesterday just to discuss about you. They feel so frustrated. What God is doing in your life, you might not see it, but it is causing a stir. And it is making them so frustrated because it is watering down everything they are saying against God. When God gave me this prophetic word, he led me to the book of um, John chapter 11, verse from verse 47 to 48. Let me just read a part of it. It says, So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened a council of leaders in Israel and said, What are we doing? For this man performs many signs, attesting miracles. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him and the Romans will come and take away both our holy place, the temple, and our nation. They are so worried by the things that are happening in your life. They do not expect you to, to break forth like this. They do not expect um, the kind of things that are happening to you to happen. And so they are going to do everything to stop you. But you know, another thing God taught me while he was teaching me this. He said, all the while the Pharisees, the priests, and the Sadducees, they tried to kill Jesus all the while, but they could not lay hands on him. At every point in time, either God will blind their eyes and they will just, he will just walk past. He will be in a particular place, but they will not be able to access him. They were not able to have access to him until God, until it was time for him to die, until it was time for him to be crucified. So it doesn't matter how much, how many times they convey a meeting against you. It doesn't matter how much they plot against you. They cannot do anything unless God has given them permission. And right now, God is not giving them permission against your life because your life is a testament of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.